The idea behind reverse engineering is we're gonna take a part that we have no file for, have no print for. We're gonna place it on our stage. We'll set our settings for a thickness and a material type. We'll take a quick scan of the image, getting our measurement data. And then we'll go reverse engineer. Uh, setting our datum, it's gonna square up our part to whatever features, features we want to capture, whether that be two circles or two perpendicular lines. You can then use some snap fitting to tell it that I want to align all of my data to a certain grid or certain dimensions. I'll then fit all of my circles using my fit tools to create circles out of everything I know or assume is supposed to be a perfect circle. So we created all my circles and I'll go back and do my rectangles. And if I had slots or ellipses in here, we could do those as well. Past that, we're going to do some polylines and arcs. I'm just gonna change this out. And our feature resolution varies on a part by part basis. Some parts might need a little more intricate detail while others we can be a little more open with. And once I've created all of my CAD, I can export that out to whatever folder, name it whatever I want to, and we'll save that out as a DWG or DXF file. I'll then load that same file that I just made. So we have all of our geometry here. So I can load that file, I can inspect it, I can create a report off of it, auto-generate quick dimensions to all of our holes from this hole right here. So all of our X, Y distances to holes and G, D, and T right off the bat. And just like that, we can re-inspect this part or inspect the next couple parts that we make to make sure that they match the original CAD.